Let's get right to that huge ferry disaster. A ship packed with high school students on an overnight trip to a popular tourist destination in South Korea. It sank so fast. And ABC's chief foreign affairs correspondent Terry Moran has the latest on the search for survivors. Terry. Good morning, George. This is a desperate situation and it is ongoing. It was supposed to be a trip to paradise. 325 high school students, their teachers, other crew members and passengers all en route to the resort island of Jeju, the Korean Hawaii, it's called. And then disaster struck. Desperate scenes off the coast of South Korea, frantic efforts to rescue passengers from the stricken ferry, including hundreds of high school kids. More than 100 vessels and aircraft came to help. Then a horrible sight, the ferry sinks. Almost 300 remain missing. Young survivors describe the chaos. The announcement told us we should stay still, this student who scrambled to safety said, but the ship was already sinking and there were a lot of students who did not get out of the ship. Many passengers were at breakfast, others still in bed. When survivors say they heard a loud crash and the ship began shaking and immediately listing. It was very intense, this survivor recalled. The ship was tilted more than 45 degrees. Anxious relatives gathered at the school where the youngsters were students. Now, a scene of dread and fear and weeping. Survivors say many people may have remained trapped inside the ship when it sank in murky waters off the Korean mainland. Divers are already looking inside the wreckage and helicopters and rescue boats scouring the scene, looking for anyone who might have escaped the doomed ship. No one knows yet what might have caused this ship to sink, what caused that collision that everybody felt. But survivors are pointing to one problem, possible problem on board the ship. They were told to stay in place. And that may have been a terrible mistake. Mm. And, and Terry, that ship went down so quickly, just a couple of hours. Give us a sense of the scope of the rescue operation right now. It, it's vast, George. It's right off the coast of South Korea, and there are uh, hundreds of ships and vessels involved, 87 ships, lots of helicopters, divers in the water. The problem is the water there is about 54 degrees Fahrenheit. That means survivors have a couple of hours before hypothermia sets in. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. That's a scary situation. Okay, Terry, thanks very much.